Hello my legends, welcome back to the channel, it's your boy Link and this is the third time I've tried to film this because the first time I didn't put the mic on the second time I accidentally went live on Twitch instead of filmed um, so you can tell we're doing something different than all and it's a Harry Potter recast, so they're doing a new Harry Potter series where basically there's going to be a whole series instead of just films of the Harry Potter books, like the original stories um, and I thought let's have a little look at some of the options for people that could be in in this basic like recast who could be in this new era of harry potter some of them are quite difficult because it's hard to recast characters you love right like obviously like hagrid robbie coltrane legendary like snape legendary like you can't really recast these people but you have to if you're going to remake the stories so these are my opinions some of them are influenced by stuff i've seen online but I've tried to keep it as much my ideas as I can. So these are probably people that you haven't thought about at least 50% of the time, I would guess. So let's get on with it. Just need to move my camera out of the way or you cannot see what I'm talking about. There we go. So the first one I have is Severus Snape played by Adam driver now i know this is kind of obvious like ever since he was kylo ran again i think people were talking about it before they even announced the new like harry potter series and stuff but personally i think like he's such a good actor he's such a diverse actor that he could hopefully carry off the whole snape thing and i think the snape story is one of the best ones in harry potter it's one of those fascinating characters i love a redemption arc i've always been someone that loves a redemption arc i've got like, a soft spot for it and um yeah, like I think it could be like a fantastic casting. Let's get on to the next one. That didn't work. Next up, we have Johnny Depp as Sirius Black. Now, obviously, this couldn't be that realistic. And like I say, these aren't maybe realistic. These are what I want to see. This is what I would do. If I had like a, a fantasy world where I could do what I want, this is how it would go. Um, Johnny Depp, I think he could play the crazy Azkaban series. He could play the lovable uncle He's got that cheeky, chappy side, which I think is so important with Sirius. And I think it's more more prevalent in the books than perhaps the films. Like I think like Sirius has got more of like a, a I don't want to say naughty, but I don't really know the right word for it. Like a cheeky side, like a funny side. And he's not as, as funny in the films, maybe, as the books. And like Sirius is like my favourite character, so I'm not moaning about Gary Oldman's performance because it's brilliant. But yeah, I just personally... I think it would be dope to see Johnny Depp do it, but obviously with the whole Grindelwald disaster and all that controversy around him, it probably wouldn't happen, but I think it would be great. And do let me know what you'd think of these picks down there, and let me know if you've got any ones that I didn't think of, because I'd love to see it. Next up, Rubius Hagrid. Now, this is obviously, like, for me, Robbie Coltrane was so perfect, honestly, like... I don't want to change him. I don't want to get rid of him. I don't want to change him. I don't want to undo anything he ever did. But I think we could go for Jack Black. And like, you know, the beard's there. But I think Jack Black could bring that humour to Hagrid. But also that like loving energy. Like, because Hagrid is like this kind of like almost like father figure to like the three main kids. He's like this lovable bumbling and buffoon and i just think he would be so good i think jack black probably because you've got to take it in a slightly different direction you can't try and just do what robbie coltrane did again it's gonna have to be a a slight reimagining of it and i think jack black could do it and i think jack black could also do like a awesome song he could like turn up and be like madam 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 maxine madam 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 maxine i love you Anyway, you know, Jack Black could do something like that. I'd love that, you know, and I still haven't seen the Mario movie, which I'm so sad about because I just haven't got around to it and that song is everywhere. But anyway, I think Jack Black is a great show. Next up is probably one of the most controversial ones on the list. Now, I don't really know who to cast as Minerva McGonagall. I felt she had to be in the list. I felt we had to try to recast her in this video, but I don't really know who I would cast. So this is probably one of the biggest ones where I want your opinions in them comments. I've gone for Karen Gillan. Now, is Karen Gillan way too young? Yes. McGonagall is around 70 in the books. Karen Gillan's 35. But, 
Karen Gillan for me is my favourite Scottish actress. Um, I think she can do the sassiness of McGonagall, them kind of like funny quips that McGonagall has, like you, where she's like sort of like you're an idiot. That sort of like vibe that McGonagall has. I think Karen Gillan could could like achieve that, but is she way too young? Probably. So let me know who you would cast. Next up is, like, for me, this is obvious. Now, I don't know if this is obvious for you, but, like, who knows how to be a Malfoy more than Draco Malfoy, Tom Felton? Is there an actor who is more synonymous with a role, like a one-role, like, dynasty than Tom Felton? I don't think there is. Like, if you look at that man, he is Draco Malfoy. He is a Malfoy. He's the spirit of the Malfoys. So just... Making him play Lucius because he's too old to play Draco again. For me, that's just like, it writes itself. And it's a cheap pop. Like, that first time that Lucius Malfoy's dad turns up, you're going to lose your mind. You're going to be like, no. And I think, like, that's the way to do it. Like, if it's obvious, do it. And I think it's so obvious that it just makes sense. And he just, he knows the Malfoy thing. And he's got the Malfoy look and the Malfoy presence. And... Yeah, I think Lucius Malfoy was played so well originally. Like, Tom Felton could do it and like, reimagine it. And he can also look at it from the perspective of how does Malfoy see Lucius? Because Tom's already gone through that motion in a way. So I think it's like a, just a clever recast. And that would be like low effort, like fairly low effort. Like, not low effort, but I just think it would be clever. I think it's the way to go. Next up is one which was actually supposedly the original plan. So apparently, originally, the plan was for Hugh Grant to play Lockhart. I don't know why it didn't work out. Um, but I would like to see it. Like It's one of these like um, urban legends or urban myths that you hear all the time. Like, yeah, Hugh Grant was supposed to play Lockhart. So I want to know now, like, was he? Let's find out how good he is at playing Lockhart. And also, I think, like, Hugh Grant's like a massive actor. So I think... Like, a Defence Against the Dark Arts teacher role is obviously, like, a little spoiler for Harry Potter people that haven't seen it. Um, it's, it's never longer than, like, a one-series role, really. So, Hugh Grant is probably a big actor that wouldn't want to commit to, like, seven series, but you might be able to get him to come do one series. So, that's my opinion. I think it could be fun, and um, I'd like to see it. But I think Lockhart, you could you could take that a lot of different ways. You could make that fun. You could make it, like, energetic. You could make it a bit more sinister. I think there's just so many ways you could take it that I think it's an interesting one to cast. And I'd love to know who you think for this one as well. Next. Yeah, next up we have Arthur Weasley. Now, you know, ginger bloke, bit of a loser, fairly emotional. But you love him? It's Ian Bill, right? <laughs> it's Ian Bill. Um, Adam Woodjack, like, is it Woodjack? I'm going to check my notes for the surname. Adam Woodjack. Yeah, and also Adam Woodjack's a Liverpool fan. So, like, I feel like I owe him a bit of love, you know? Like, he's a Liverpool fan. He's, he's He supports the right team. I just think it could be fun, you know? And um, I don't really know what else to say about it. Like, I think, like, Weasley is a fun one. Um... Of the guy's name escapes me, but the guy that just voiced Headmaster Black in Hogwarts Legacy, he could do Arthur Weasley as well. Like I think that could be an option. Some people have also called him out for Lupin. Um, that's not what I would choose, but I think there is a role there for him. Who would I choose for Lupin? Ewan McGregor. Now he's got a slight Lupin esque kind of look, he's British, but, like, I just kind of want to see it, I think it'd be fun, like, he's one of my favourite actors, and I think, like, Ewan McGregor, he could, like, do, like, the sinister side would be really fun, because I don't feel like Ewan McGregor's played enough bad guys, and Lupin's not a bad guy, but he does have, like, a an edgy, darker, grittier, um, spoiler, werewolf side, and I think that, like, I think Ewan McGregor could be fun for that, like, I think it could be fun, 
But also, like, if there's someone who you're going to have, like, repeatedly coming back, like, you and McGregor, let's get him in. Next up, Voldemort. Now, this is such a hard recast. I think, you know, the original one, and this is one of the ones I'm going to say, if they were like, let's get Ralph Fiennes back, I would not argue. I wouldn't. I wouldn't fight about it at all. Like, in the same vein that, like, if Robbie Coltrane, like, God bless his soul, was still with us, if you told me Robbie Coltrane's coming back to do Hagrid, I'm not going to bat an eyelid. I think it's perfect. I feel the same way with Voldemort, but who do you go for that's going to get something a bit crazy? And I think Joaquin Phoenix is a good idea. Um, lots of people talk about Mads Mikkelsen. I don't know how I feel about him playing Grindelwald and Voldemort. Like, is that just like a bit of like Control T, Control V? A little bit. But then I guess I have suggested Johnny Depp for Sirius. So at least it's a different role to Grindelwald. It's going to look so different and stuff. Um, I guess Voldemort looks doesn't even look human, so he would look different. But yeah, I just think Voldemort's another hard one. And I don't it depends what kind of energy you want to take it to. Um I have seen some people suggest the guy that plays Vecna. Because they're sort of also alluding to the fact that as well as playing Voldemort, he could pull off the like older Tom Riddle scenes in like Chamber of Secrets and stuff. And in like flashbacks and different things and like the slughorn bit. So I do think he's a good option and he's played Vecna. He's played like the bad guy of all bad guys. Well, not the bad guy of all bad guys because that's Bowser and Jack Black did a job on that. But um, I think that's a good option as well. Like I will just throw that out there. Next up, Bellatrix Strange. And again, if you stick with Helen the Bottom Carter, I'm not going to argue with you. You might not recognise the person in the pitch. It's that way. Because it's flipped on my screen. You might not recognise the person over there. Not the first one. The second one. Um, if you don't recognise it, it is Margot Robbie. Who famously obviously played Harley Quinn. Was in The Wolf of Wall Street. Um, amazing actress. Such a range of acting. Which I think you need for that Bellatrix character. But you also need to be someone who's... Like loose enough to play someone crazy like you need to be ready to play someone crazy like you need to be ready to be like i'm gonna play this wild thing and i think margot robbie is is there for that um but again like it was so good in the original films it's one of the best cast and the best performances of the original films i kind of want it just how it was <laughs> next up Okay, it's another Star Wars recast, but like Kingsley Shacklebolt for me, he's one of my favourite people in Harry Potter, right? One of my favourite characters, you know, one of my favourite lines of all the movies is Dumbledore's got style. Like, and I think he's an awesome character. I love him. And like Samuel L. Jackson would be such a badass in that role because like Kingsley Shacklebolt is a fucking badass. Like, he's, like, going around, he's, like, not killing people, but he's, like, blasting Death Eaters, he's an aura, you know, he's got to be believable as, like, a badass, he's got to be, like, believable as this, like, warrior figure in the Wizarding World. Who would be more believable as a warrior than, than Samuel L. Jackson? And also, Samuel L. Jackson, like, famously requests a purple lightsaber in Star Wars, he's got a whole purple outfit here. The man likes purple, like, it's made to be. Don't you think? And this one's probably a little bit more fun, but I've gone for Mundungus Fletcher, Shane Ritchie. You know, I think Shane Ritchie is like, he's a bit of a geezer, you know, he's a laugh, he's a, he's a wheeler dealer. And um, I do, I would not be against, like, casting David Jason who played Delboy as Mundungus Fletcher, or even the bloke that played Rodney, because I just think it would be like a cool little sort of, like, parallel in those roles, you know what I mean? But I think Shane Ritchie, he's a wheeler dealer, he's a geezer, he's like an East End fella. And I just think he could do a really good sort of Mundungus Fletcher, you know, stealing stuff, wheeling and dealing. And um, I think that could be fun, I do. It's probably not going to happen, but I'd love to see it. Next up is Horace Slughorn. Now for this, I would go with Malcolm Hebden, and I didn't know his name, but the bloke that plays Norris. Now, I'm going to try and like explain this, not just from the fact they're both wearing tweed, which obviously makes sense, but 
he's like annoying, right? Like Slughorn is like a bit annoying. He's like a bit of a gossip. He's a bit of a kind of like annoyance. But also, he's like a little bit malevolent, but not evil, right? That's why he's like slivering. Because he will like lie to get what he wants. He will lie to make friends. He will lie to be famous. He will lie to stay safe. He'll disguise himself as a freaking armchair to hide. Cowardly as well. Like, And that is Norris. Like, Norris is the same sort of vibe. You know what I mean? He has a gossip with people. He spreads these little rumours. And I just personally think, like, that makes so much sense to me that Norris could be Slughorn. Uh, it would be a different energy a little bit, but I think it could work so well. I really do. I think it could be hilarious as well. And I think one thing I do want to see from this Harry Potter series is I want to see a lot of humour. Because I think, like, I think it needs a Stranger Things energy. That's what I think it needs as a series. It needs to feel epic. It needs to feel funny. The characters need to have, like, relevance. But they also need to be, like, exposed. You need to be able to connect to the characters because it's not... It's a long-term investment. You're going to be... if it, Let's say every series is 12 episodes and they're all like an hour and there's seven books. Like You're looking at like 80 hours of Harry Potter content. Like It's got to be something you want to invest your time in. And, and for, to invest time, you need that emotional connection. A bit like Walking Dead, which I've been watching recently, you need to reach a point where you really care about Glenn and you hope he never dies. And... I think Slughorn, Norris, that could be the one. Ollivander. Now, I've gone for Stephen Fry. Now, he doesn't look like Ollivander. And John Hurt, to be fair, again, great performance as Ollivander. Um, like, terrific actor. Part of me wants Stephen Fry to be in this somewhere. Now, I did think about Stephen Fry's Slughorn. And I, th I think he could get the... Um, I think he could get it. But I also think he could get like the epicness of like a Dumbledore across. But I feel like the happy ground is like a character that's not in it loads and Ollivander. But I would like to see Stephen Fry do something because as well, like he he's the voice of Harry Potter. Like if you grew up listening to the audiobooks, he is the voice of Harry Potter. And recently, um I've started listening to the audiobooks like at night when I go to sleep. Um because I was reading, but like it was just a bit of effort. So I was thinking like, because you never fall asleep whilst reading, do you? You get tired, but once you put the book down, boom, you then can't sleep. So I've started listening to the audiobooks and falling asleep. Um, and then it ends at the end of that chapter and I just start that chapter again. But yeah, I think Stephen Fry is a great option for, for anyone, really. He's quite a versatile guy, but he could really get across like the epicness. But in terms of Ollivander, and the reason I went for him as Ollivander is like I feel like he could get the um like the wand like across and over and he could be like oh phoenix feather like I think he could just make it grandiose and big and powerful and impactful and that's why I'd go for Stephen Fry. I think the next one is the last selection and it's probably the most controversial. My last selection is Morgan Freeman as Dumbledore. Now, I know people are going to say straight away, Dumbledore isn't black. I know, I know that's, like, where people are going to go. But, like, just, just brush that aside. Like, I don't, I don't like the idea of, you know, like, not being able to change, like, the race of a character. If you think this person is the best actor for the job. And also, like, I go the same with gender, right? Like, if you think a male actor is the best person to play a woman, or vice versa, or if you think a transgender person is the best person to play someone that is cisgendered, like, I'm all up for changing it. Like, cast who you think is the best. Now, Morgan Freeman as Vitruvius in the Lego movie is just so epic. Honestly, like, he's playing this big grand wizard, and it feels epic. And, like, Morgan Freeman has been in so many great things that I don't think he would be daunted by the size of the Dumbledore role. And, like, what can you do? Do you know what I mean? Like, who else could you cast? Like, I don't know. Like, you know, you're talking about, like, people that have played great wizards. Like, obviously, Christopher Lee, unfortunately, is no longer with us. He would have been brilliant. Um, 
Michael Gambon would be old, I think, to play it now. Like, how old is Michael Gambon? Let's find out live on the video. Michael Gambon. Um, Michael Gambon's 82, and this series is probably going to go 10 years. Uh, to be fair, on that logic, Morgan Freeman... Mike, is Morgan Freeman that old? Morgan Freeman's 85. Okay. Maybe I've just ruined my own idea. Um, Because to commit for like a, at least probably 10 year project is probably a lot of that age. So let me know who you would cast as Dumbledore. Because maybe my Morgan Freeman idea doesn't check out. I don't really know who you could go for. Um... Maybe Stephen Fry gets it then. Maybe it is time for Stephen Fry to be Dumbledore because I think he could get the grandiose aspect of it across. And um, he's got like a well-educated feel. Like Dumbledore should feel like the smartest person in the, the whole thing. And Morgan Freeman would have been good for that. But Stephen Fry definitely could get that intelligence across. Thank you so much for watching the video, everyone. Um, it's the first time I've made a video like this where I've made some slides and we've gone through them. If you've enjoyed it, please let me know. Give it a thumbs up to show me you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff like this. And let me know what other ideas you've got for stuff like this. Um, do you want to know, like, I don't know, anything. Just like come up with ideas. If you've got ideas for stuff you want to see, let me know. And I'll try and make the videos that you legends want to see. If you click... Wrong way again. If you click up there, there'll be another video of mine for you to go watch. And if you click again, wrong way, down there, you can subscribe to the channel, which means you won't miss my exciting content, which is coming up real soon.